right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's a shit Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I'm going to go on this quick uh, topic of how, you know, you got a lot of people who sit up there and they say, oh, you reading from a book or you reading from a, the Bible, you know, or, or just in general, you know. And they try to discredit the Bible from that standpoint, you know. When I'm going to start off with the scripture, this is Second Peter 1 and 20. It says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, right? Even with the, the people who, uh, they go by the book and, and they want to say, oh, well, that's your own personal interpretation, you know? Well, the scripture says right here, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, you know? Uh, it, uh, it says, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. You know, if if men wrote this Bible, you know, like the, the whole entire scriptures, the Bible, it would be all type of confusion in the midst of it. You know, like nowhere in this Bible is there anything that is confusing, you know, and one of the reasons why uh, it was given to us, you know. Is so that like if children, you know, saying we could teach it to our children and they could be um, manifested, you know, saying throughout our entire generation so that we don't personally go off, you know, and we know what's to come in the uh, in the future, you know, because that's that's what this scripture is talking about. The prophecies, you know, of the things that's really about to go down, you know, what I'm saying as far as like America being destroyed, you know um slavery you know the american slavery is inside the bible you know if we didn't ever uh pick up the bible and read it you know what i'm saying or had the bible in front of us then we wouldn't have known who he was you know because first off uh these esau or the edomites you know what i'm saying which is the so-called white people you know what they teach us in school is totally contradictory to what's inside the bible you know and they make it seem like our uh our uh we started with slavery you know what i'm saying like we didn't have a past before then you know so it says the first the, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of the most high spake as they were moved by the holy spirit you know um also with the scriptures you know because it, it 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 teaches us a lot you know what i'm saying of what we're supposed to um be able to do what we what we're um to, to the wisdom and everything you know it's a second peter three and three knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust you know and and saying where is the prop pro, I mean promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation you know, if we didn't have the Bible to tell us what's going on in the society and what's going on, you have a lot of people who would just sit up there and think that, okay, well, life is just continuing to go on. You know, we don't have nothing to look forward to. We got just the people, well, okay, you got uh, the slavery. Yeah, that's just happened. You know what I'm saying? That randomly happened. You know, when the scriptures tell us, you know, what, why we went into slavery, you know, and why we're put under the so-called white man. You know, and why we won't be able to uh, overcome this so-called white man. You know, why our women are above us. You know, all of these things are prophecies. You know, and you even got the people who sit up there. They don't want to listen to what the scriptures say. You know, and they want to follow what they, they want to lean on their own understanding. You know, and they want to do whatever the heck they think is right. You know, niggas want to uh, believe that um, adultery is the way to go. You know, or smoking, you know, weed, you know, the, the, the whole entire thing of defiling your temple, you know, a lot of people, when, before you come into this truth, you know what I'm saying, you into all type of craziness, and the, the scripture is the only one that, the, the only thing that can really make a boy out of a man, because these women out here don't know how to make men into men, you know, you can't show me not one situation where a single mom 
made a a, man, a boy out of a man, you know, not one situation. Uh, this is Titus, uh, one and nine. It says, "Hold and fast the faithful word, as he hath been taught." You know, this is the 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 people, the bishops. You know, more more importantly, you know. But this is going into like how how a person should be thinking. You know, when when they're in the scriptures. It's Titus one and nine. It says, "Hold and fast." The faithful word as he hath been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to vent, convince the gainsayers, right? Now, that's one of the reasons why you go out there on the highway and hedges, man, you know? You you go out there and you exhort and you convince the gainsayers, the people who don't necessarily uh, got internet, because everybody don't have the internet, you know? But the people who uh, walk by that probably never heard about it, and in their whole entire life, you know what I'm saying? You go out there and you teach them, man. You know? It says to, to both, uh, to exhort and to convince the gainsayers, right? I'm going to look into the word exhort. It says to call one side, call forth to summon. You know, to admonish, to exhort, to beg, entreat, beseech. You know? That's just some of the uh, definitions, you know what I'm saying? Encourage, strengthen. You know, when we go out there, and even one of them, it says to instruct and teach. You know, when we go out there, we're doing all these things on the highway and hedges, you know what I'm saying, to try to get people to live righteously, you know what I'm saying, and tell them what's to come, so that we can get that blood off our hands, you know what I'm saying? Because if we don't do what, what the scriptures say, when we go out there, then a lot of these people that's dying, you know, their blood are going to be on our hands, man, you know? Because a lot of the prophecies and the stuff that's going down, FEMA camps, martial law, the, the dollar bill collapsing, you got uh, the RFID chip, which is the market of beasts, you know, a lot of these things is going down and we plan on getting up out of this society into our own society, you know, where righteousness and peace dwell, you know, happiness, everlasting life. You're only going to get that from the scriptures, from the Bible, the Holy Bible. It says, uh, Titus 1 and 10, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, right? Now, this is the people who know that they that they uh, so-called Israelites, you know what I'm saying, according to the Bible. A lot of these people are unruly, vain talkers and deceivers, you know? If we didn't have the Bible to tell us that, man, we wouldn't know anything. You'd be caught up in everything, you know? Uh, you got, like, General Yohanna, commanding General Yohanna, you know, uh, Nate from IUIC, you know, and then you got people that aren't even of the, uh, the, the scriptures, who don't even believe in it, you know, who teach madness, like, uh, polite, you know, and a lot of them other guys from, uh, Sad Nigga, you know, Sad Netta, you know what I'm saying, or the, uh, unconscious community, you got, um, uh, Farrakhan, you know, the, the the Muslim people, you know, a lot of these people out here, they don't have any uh, basis, you know what I'm saying, or foundation. You know, they don't have a strong strong foundation. It says, who mouths must be stopped, who sub subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of these uh, camps out here, you know, do. You know, they're not really teaching the ways of Yahweh by Sumi Awasai, you know. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna jump down to the the thirteenth verse. It says, "This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the faith." You know, with the scriptures, you get you learn what faith is. You know, with wisdom. Uh, not knowledge, you know, uh, by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, if we was a, uh, born, because we, we all born into this sin, you know, if we was little kids, all mothers, you know, a lot of them, you know, single parents, they teaching us everything that the so-called white man is teaching us, you know? And they teaching us uh, algebra, which, which we don't even know, they make it mandatory for us to go to co I mean school and take these uh, history classes that 
that mainly teach so-called white man history, you know? We don't know who we are before we came into this, man, you know? Everything that we we learn, you know, from growing up, you know, is what our mothers taught us, what we supposedly learned on our own, you know what I'm saying, we're hanging around homeboys and stuff like that, or what the white man then taught us, you know, rather than what the Lord wanted, want from us, you know, what the, the laws to keep and do righteously, and you know, some of us, even myself, you know what I'm saying, I say it for myself, when I was growing up from some, you know, being in the hood with a lot of these niggas, I would always sit up there and think like, yo, why don't I think like these niggas, you know? Like, something, something is in me that just don't mess well with these people. But they the only ones that I know, so I just keep it moving, you know? But the whole time, my, my whole spirit didn't really uh, dwell with, within them, man, you know? Because they was into all being niggas and stuff like that, you know? And the scriptures is what really made me from a boy into a man, you know? And I still got a lot of room to grow. It says, unto the poor... All things are pure, pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know the Most High, right? Because without the Bible, you, in order to know the Bible or, or know the Lord, you know, the Most High, you got to go through the Bible and, and, and seek his face, man, read his word, you know? It says, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. You know, keeping the laws. How you gonna show that how you gonna show the Lord and say that you know the Lord, you know what I'm saying, which is Yahweh, you know what I'm saying, our Father, if you're not doing what he says that you should do. You know? You ain't doing no commandments. How are you showing that he lo you love him? You know, when the scriptures tell you that if you, if, if you love him, keep his commandments. Uh, Ephesians 4 and 14. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. You know, like I said, before you come into this, these, these, the scriptures and what the Bible say and build your foundation on this, on your how about Shem Yahweh you know, you into everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I don't... You, you could be thinking that, oh, I'm about to learn what the, the uh, Muslims say, you know, or everybody is, uh, or has their own opinion, or that they can say what they want to believe in, believe in what they want to believe in, you know, you went to everything, man. It says, by by the slight, slight, slight of, of men and cunning crack, craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive, you know. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 2. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the Most High deceitfully, but by manifest manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High. You know, when when you come into this Bible, you know, when you, you really sincere about this thing, you know, you're not going to be dishonest. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's to, to when you're trying to get people to come into this, you know, you're not going to be trying to be dishonest with the scriptures and, and try to get up into, into these ladies' uh, panties, you know, which a lot of these camps be doing. You know what I'm saying? You're really going to do what Yahweh Basim Yahweh Sai wants from you, you know? You're going to try to, you're going to fear the Lord because you feel like if I go off, you know, that the Lord can destroy me. You know? And the scriptures also say the things that was written aforetime are written for our learning. You know, if you didn't have the Bible, then you wouldn't understand that, you know, everything that happened before, you know what I'm saying, is basically going to happen again because the scriptures tell you nothing is new under the sun. You know, it says, uh, I'm going to repeat it. It says, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness. You know, we're not trying to deceive people, basically. It says, nor handling the word of the Most High deceitfully. But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High, you know? So when you look at the fact that, okay, the Most High is looking at everything that we do, you know, then the Lord, you know, could, could potentially destroy me, you know? 
if I don't do what the heck he want, man, because that comes with fearing the Lord. It says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You know, and that's one thing also, man, when you come into this and you read the Bible, you know, one of the reasons why my spirit didn't dwell with those people that was, bef you know, that I was dealing with from before, you know, I realized that, hey, those people are two thirds, man. They're not going to make it. They'll come back in their right mind, you know. That that the reason why we don't have no peace and happiness is because we went off, you know. That the, the scriptures give you all that, man. You know, your how about some outside gives you all that. Uh, it's First Corinthians one and seventeen. It says, "For Yahweh Shai sent me not to baptize, right? Because if you if you didn't read the Bible, then you'll also see that okay, well, we can continue to baptize people, you know, with water." But we're baptizing in a whole total different manner, you know. It says, but to pre preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, you know. We're not out here to try to make it seem like we're the most wise people, you know. Because that's not what it's about, man. Oh, we got to go deep into the law. The law, it's not all about that, man. It says, lest the, the cross of Yahweh Shai should be made of none effect. And that's what the main thing is, man. We telling people that Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh sent his son, Yahweh Shai, to die for us, man. And without the scriptures, we wouldn't have known that, man. Without the scriptures, the disciples and everybody wouldn't have known that Yahweh Shai was to come, man. You know, they was into the scriptures and they knew and they read, okay, this is the God that the scriptures was talking about, you know. That Moses wrote about. And that's that's one of the ways that how having a Bible, you know what I'm saying, or, or what was written for us, you know, is able to help us out, you know. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and 2. It says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he that may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry you know like i said like the beginning of the thing at the beginning of the video you know it says that no scriptures is uh is of private interpretation you know and this scripture right here says write the vision and make it plain upon tables you know what I'm saying? What's going to happen in the future? America, which is Babylon according to the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Being destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. You know, you wouldn't understand that if you didn't have the Bible to there. Because no other book, nobody else is out here uh, teaching about this. You know what I'm saying? The only ones that really go into this is GMS. This is Isaiah 30 and 8. Now go... Write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Right now, this is this is what the scriptures say. You know, we write it in a book so that we'll know it forever and ever. You know, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. You know. These people, you, you you know what they always say, it's a famous saying. If you want to hide something from somebody, put it in a book. A lot of these niggas don't want to read the book, you know. A lot of these people don't want to study, you know. They want to make God out to what they want him to be, you know. Where it's like, okay, you believe in God, you know what I'm saying, and you don't, you don't go by no book or anything. What if somebody else want to believe in the same God that you got, man? You know, how are you going to teach them? You know, if if you if you just say, okay, God is all about love, you know, and God says that you need to do this. Well, how how am I supposed to, to follow that if you can't even show me that? You know, you don't have nothing to back you up. But it's people out here dying all the time. If God is all about love, then why is that happening, man? Is Satan in your doctrine? You know? This is Job 19 to 23. It says, Oh, that my words were now written. 
Oh, that they were printed in a book, right? And, and and that they were graven with an iron pen and led in the rock forever. You know, Job was saying this, man. He wished that his words was written in a book. And sure enough, his words were written in a book, you know? And the story about Job and what he went through and having faith and being tried, you know, that that's that's a uh, food for your soul, you know. When you sit up there and you see, okay, Job went through it and everything that he done went through, and he stood firm and he didn't go up against the Yahweh Yahusha, you know. And 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 that's when you read that, you 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 start trying to you know de develop that man, develop that faith. Um. Jeremiah 36 and 2. Take thee a roll of a book and write therein all the words that I have spoken against you, against Israel, and against Judah, and against all the nations from the day I spake unto you, from the days of Josiah, even to the, unto this day. You know, this is just another scripture, man. You know. Everything that the Lord done pronounced against uh, Israel, you know what I'm saying, the, the his people, you know, about why we're special, you know what I'm saying, to the Lord, you know, and even with, with us going through this society right now, you know what I'm saying, when we are in the kingdom, we won't go off. Why? Because we believed in these words and we had faith in y'all by some y'all side. Let me give you uh, like two more scriptures. It says uh, Jeremiah fifty one and sixty. So Jeremiah wrote it, wrote in a book all the evil that should come upon Babylon, which is America. Even all these words that are written against Babylon, you know. Uh, First uh, Timothy four and one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. That in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, you know. Without the scriptures, you wouldn't even know this, man. Giving heed to seducing spirits, you know, and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. So the thing is, man, it, with, even with that, man, the reason why a lot of these people can't get it, and why these people done left the truth, you know, they got that, that demon that's deeply embedded into their spirit, you know what I'm saying, to their mind, you know, and they can't get it off them, man. We wouldn't know that if it wasn't for the Bible, you know, or why our people out here are wicked, you know, what's going on, what's going to happen, what should I do, who am I, you know. That's all gold, man. That's all treasure. And you're only going to get that from the scriptures. You're not going to get that from anywhere else. You know? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And the sincere Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and sincerity. Salawam.